Hello guys, welcome back to another What If video. Today I'll be taking a brand new What If called What If Asta Was A Kenway. So yeah, if you're wondering why I put St. Patrick Cormac in a picture, that's well because... I'm doing kind of like a theme now where Asta will have that hairstyle. So yeah, let's start right to shall we? And if, I don't know why I put Haytham real in the thumbnail, I just need Edward Kenway. Will be Nikinus as his creator, but Edward Kenway will still be a pirate. As he will still be able, but he will be a pirate of the he left. Well, instead of dying, he will be able to live and become a pirate somewhere. It might be Isekai or something. But he has now, he's on this Yakida sailing with his crew. As they will end up at a place, uh, Kenway will meet a lady there. The gorilla girls. I shall end up that uh, she will get pregnant. And she'll try with the crew. There. And later on Asta will be born. As they will all celebrate the uh, that Asta's birth. After that and yes yeah, now the mother will die of their illness. Edward Kemp was devastated. Asta was only two years old when that happened. But the rest of Adewale and the rest of the crew would take care of Asta to, uh, together with Kenway. Edward Kenway. As Asta would be raised there on the boat. He will be taught a pirate and be taught study and everything else that Edward knew. Asta was tw 14 years old actually now. He's, he's allowed to like, steer the ship sometimes. While Kenway, Edward has a close look on it too. As long as you were really good with this, Asta, Asta, th thanks, Dad. He said, because, yes, he would say that. Then they would see, Asta would just use the scope and see a man of war. He said, Dad, a man of war, six o'clock. He's like, huh. Dad says, turn around. Asta, what are you? He's like, yeah, it's time for your first fight. I was like, yay. Now, Asta turned the ship around. Now, um, you just go to, like, they would get on this, like, now as they turn around there, they were immobilized, though, then the fight, fight like, you kind of fight would begin. So now Austin would say, fire, as he got command all, sometimes, well, Edward can always stir the ship and all that, make sure that they avoided all the shots. Austin said, t told them to fire when Austin knew they were the best way to do it. As they did, they all realized that as Ed Adewale was impressed with Asta, but he thought he spawned a ship. Of course, he will be good at it. Now, Asta would uh, not do her mobilize the uh, Man of War apparently so, for somehow quickly. Edward said, you, I, I'm impressed, son. I was like, thanks. Then he said, No, we gotta storm the ship now. As both Asta and Edward took a lift up on each side of the masts. Instead they took some rope and swung over. They would all see that Asta had a little assassin outfit that was fit for him. With guns and swords too. As when they landed Asta took the pistol and shot pe four people. Edward can Edward see this black. <laughs> this really like me thought. Otherwise would think that too. Wow he really took after his father. Then the enemy start to attack. Asta draw his swords now. I see when trained by Kenway and the other crew all at, like daily, so you know how to fight. He dodged the first and just cuts them with his French cut glasses. He can't let that for a while. So now it was time to destroy the flag. Also takes the rift up and climbs the mast. As he cuts off the flag, Edward said, <laughs> good sound. Then the scouts were still there. Also like, oh. Also won't have a hidden blade, so he will just jump towards the second mast and just take out the sword. Edward see this book, oh crap, what if he falls? Then, but then Ost would land on the other side while holding his sword out and stabbing the scout. Then he just takes the roof down to get the, on the main, like, ship now, now to take care of the rest of the crew. Captain was there. Uh, Edward was cornered with his, Ost, <laughs> Edward's sword was out, but then he couldn't use his hit plate to throw the captain under the wheel either. Ost would see this book, dad, no. Asta rushes towards him. He climbs up on a little 
like higher part of the wood and how he jumps towards the captain without the captain noticing. It's not Oz that takes his sword and just stabs him through like through his shoulders down to the heart and lungs. And resists like wow thanks. Oz looks at no problem dad. Oz pick like throws a sword to Kenway. As now a soldier will come around behind Kenway Asta is as off to Asta for the sword. This soldier will come. Oh, Edward stabs it. <laughs> then Edward saw some soldiers go towards Asta from behind. He will like, uh, Asta noticed them as he would just dodge them. As then just cuts one of them open. The others two would have a sword fight with Asta. As now Edward was took his sword and as he threw back Asta's first cut class. Also take them both now on as he could fight bo off both of them. As he kills them both with a stab right through the neck. Then after that the, the rest of the crew will surrender. Edward and Oz would take all their resources and put them on their ship. Then they sank the man of war. Oz was like that wow we really sunk a man of war huh? Where is the brig? A j bigger a giant brig or maybe a frigate. Edward said, yeah, I know, son, I know. Then after that, they would sail. Now they would come into a storm. Also, look, uh, now Edward take the wheels. So Oz was with the crew now, helping them take care of everything, trying to get out of the storm. Then Oz would see a, then after a storm, Oz would see a ship like far away. He's take the, he, um, what is now scope and as watch as see it's like wait that I said it, that that he forced the scope to that uh, Edward as he would see the t damn it Templars. I said wait, t do you mean he said yes, my son. I mean those. After a crap. He said, crap, crap, crap. As so now the Templar ship will come towards him, it will be a man of war. I said, crap, it's a man of war too. He said, Edward Buck, what? And now he sees that it's a man of war and some two frigates. I told him, so, like, whatever. Ha he looks at Adewale. That's Adewale, whatever happens. If something happens, get Asta out of here. Adewale, like, e uh, 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 yes, Captain. He said, I see he had the lifeboat ready. It's not that like they would start the kind of fights. You know, they sank the two frigates, one frigate actually. Now the other frigate and the metaphor will be two on both sides of Yakdaw. Uh, cannon back, oh crap, then it doesn't fire both cannons on both sides. As it does, now the cannons would hit the frigate, kill, destroy the mast. As they uses pistols now, it's Edward back, what are you doing? As back, killing the crew off there, we're at a joint in the <laughs> jumping on. Oster shots the captain on the brigade and the uh, uh, the one to steer the frigate too. As they die now, standing there would sink the ship. Then come from out of war, it will be a lot of cannons on that one. As they shoot at the Yakda all the time. Then Oster has an officer, no. Oster takes the lift up with Edward Black, no. Edward Black, Oster, get. Also, when it listen, he'll run for the mast and take the rope now. Jan put it to the Templar ship without of one anyone of the Templar crew noticing. Also, takes out the blow dart he had and puts like the scouts to sleep. He sees the captain. He sees he's surrounded by guards and has gunpowder still on deck. He's like, huh? Then he nods towards his like dad. Then, like, oh, he said, Chris, there's a scra discra distraction, he thought. So now Ken will just uh, shoot at the, some a gunpowder barrel as the, as the crew Templars see the Bakwata. While Asta yeah, should start it too. They went to see where the shots come from so Asta would be like safe um, up on the mast. <laughs> then Captain would be left exposed. Now as Asta didn't attack it because he knew that he would, they would be defeated. Edward saw the situation like ah. Then it says otherwise to make sure the ship still sh still shoots cannon, I will go help my son. 
can we use, use a rope a lance on the Templar ship? Uh, the crew was barely decimated to like a couple of twen ten soldiers left, plus the captain. So the, some of the crew would go walk out to hold the crew, the Templar crew off. While can we Edward battle the Templar captain? Austin slowly climb down. As we have his sword ready. No, he had to get this dagger actually. And be ready now for a perfect moment. As Edward now would be cornered and almost was about to get stabbed for the chest with the Templar epoch. <laughs> this is it, can we? Well, take your journal. But right when it off, they said that. But right off, they said that, really. Austin just stabs him. But what the? Then she's also t uh, behind him said, You'll leave my dad alone, he said. Then the, uh, the crew would just surrender, but also said, mm. Then also look at them. He just looks at his dad. He tells him that then uh, he asks his dad, So, if I do challenge them to sword duel, <laughs> if they win, should we let them go? <laughs> Otherwise, they will be. I'll get to kill them, right? He's like, Yeah, sure. But make sure, Osbeck, I will. Then Edward said, "What if anything happens though? I will, I'll kill them if they kill. Was about to kill you, or will kill you." I was like, "Yeah, I, thanks, Dad." He said, "Now they will start the duel. It'll be two or one. It's will just us will have five different duels because they were two or one because us had two swords. So fight them. They would go towards us. That's like the like challengers profit now." Until a tide, tide, turning tide point, where Asta gets crushed them both. As he defeats them, they admit surrender. As I had to spare everyone until the last duel. If he lost the last duel, he would be killed, or they would be free, actually. And now they count the rest of the duels, they would be... So, yeah. And then, the last two fights was actually a single fights. Because they are those two had two double swords, too. So the fights will go on as the class of swords cross them. Then Austin will just have uh, his swords get thrown out of his hands with the last duels. The others back, yeah, come on, you can. As now goes toward Austin. Austin just blocks his with his hand, grabs his arm, and holds it, probably holds it up, shaking like, like how? What are you gonna do? And then us while Austin holds off both hands for a short while with both his with just one hand. Picks out his dagger and tells him that, oh, that. As now Austin like, defeats the, him because he cuts off his hand. He look, ah! Ah, 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 he screamed. I said, guess I won, he said. Then he just looks at them. All the other, then just nods to the, like, the guards that hold him captive and said they'd kill them. So then throw them overboard. They will loot the ship now completely to find anything. As they found out that the Templars already alerted the other Templars where Edward Kenway was, they wanted his journal. But something for a temple. As Edward Black, no, crap! Said the after, I was like, what? Came back. Son, whatever you do, never let go of this journal, he said. Once I get sounded the Kenway journal, but that already. I said, I am sure. I was like, Dad, why does it feel like you're saying goodbye? Can okay, like, I'm not. It's just in case it's safer with you, just in case anything happens. I was like, Dad? What? Then we we'll to start red now. So now they will just go on the ship off the sink at the Templar ship. They will fly sail away. They need to go to the high rat now. They fly to the high rat. They will yeah to absolutely fly. No, they will sail to the high rat. It will take time, but it will. Because now they are with the hideout, they will just celebrate everything. What's back, Dad? What are these hidden blades you have? Like, oh, 
son, there's something I got as an assassin. I suppose go, okay. Stan, the assassin would actually wait, come to visit Kenway. Stan still would arrive there, also to see the ship. Edward knew what ship it was and why it was here, or he thought that he knew why it was here. She just didn't mind it, but Austin would go to the ship now. As when her close, Austin would use a rope from the hideout and just land on the ship now. Ready with his, ready with his swords. So now the <laughs> assassin crew would see him, as they would render swords too. Austin, no. They said, why are you here? They said, oh, haven't, haven't Edward told, haven't Edward told you? He said, then he saw the suit's book, what the, wait, who? I said, what, what pieces do you have here? With my dad, I'm like, oh, wait, you're, what now? I said, yes, my dad. Then can Edward was, dr like, drunk? He was said, hey, come on, Asta, we're just here for business. Was like, oh, fine, Dad. I'll let them go. Then after that, I was to just let them, us to go learn in the harbor now. But he still kept an eye close on the assassins, he didn't trust them really. I was done said, oh, so this must be, you must be Asta then. I was like, yeah, I am. Well, Edward told us about the own letters. As Asta looks at Edward, I was like, dad, what? The, have you talked about, about, about me with the strain or something? He said, oh, they're not strangers, they're companions of the assassins. I was like, what? He said, yeah. I was like, okay, dad. I stand said, oh, well, if you're his dad, you, if he's your dad, you should probably undergo assassin, assassin training. I was like, yeah, he, he only needs to see the blades, basically. I said, Edward, but like, oh. Oh, okay, they said. We have other business but the Templars, but then. I was like, yeah, I know what I mean. We took care of those Templars. Uh, then also said, yeah, Nella lost in the entire ship too, while doing so. I'm like, uh huh. But then I was just like, oh. I was then ask, oh wait, wait, you lost, how? I said, we got surrounded by two frigates and one man of war. And Man of War had so too many cannons for like a normal Man of War. I'm like, okay, they said, that's now they would just talk about what they found out. And then Edward said, well, they're off to my journal. He said, they're like, oh, where's Osblock? Asked him to say anything. I said, I trusted with my son. He said, like, No, he wouldn't say that he trusted with his son. He said, It's safe. He said, Edward, I can't tell you really, in just in case. Like, oh, we understand that. Asked was, he just wanted to tell him about that he had it, but then he, that is like, that he thinks, like, No, if that doesn't tell him, I shouldn't tell him either. After that, now also get on to go to the train with the assassins with some extra stuff. How to sneak perfectly on that. Even though his dad has taught him, he on to go went to train to the assassin needed to check on him, really, if, if Edward did a good job training him. After that, also would. Uh, What I'm saying. Uh. Okay. 
now after also get a hidden blade now he undergo the hidden blade training now it's now a complete turn with the hidden blades now then it told you start at that like you already said it's also like I want a different suit than yours it looks so similar to yours I want a little bit different like okay son what do you mean also things like hmm as they had some textiles there now I also looks at them looks at the textiles think like huh he sees a crimson cloak said why not uh, then I said I want that one as the cape kinda huh hold on you know us of us now do as says will leave Yeah, now as the assassin have left now, they will complete train with Asta. Asta thanked thank them for that, as now he's uh, missed by the hidden blade he had. Then he, Edward calls for him, Asta back, what is it, dad? Oh, girl son. It's time that we set sail like soon. Asta back, okay dad. Asta now ready the crew said, come on, come on male. Soon we set, we'll set sail soon. We don't know how Aust said I told him that, that's the black all <laughs> laugh a little bit. Yes, now. No, a week, a month through the past, actually, after that, I still have been sobering for that time. They were ready for our drinks now. After that, I was to be like, huh, let's get on the ship now. I was to tell them to ready sail. As Adewal was lucky, he taught Asta how to be a quartermaster and take care of the crew in case Asta gets his own ship soon. But Asta preferred to sail with his dad still. Even though he got, like, said that, that his dad told him that you can get a ship for you if you want. Asbak, I know that, but I just want to sail with you. I go, okay, Asbak, yeah. After all, I can't compare it to the greatest pirate ever. <laughs> and Brooks smirked, he's like, heh. Now Aust now Aust will be fourteen years and six months. So now of they were on the ship now sailing. Trying to find a ship or merchants to like st steal stuff from. From us now, us will find some ship now as they told them about it. Okay, as then is that that us folks wait that something's off, it seems. Like, wh what do you mean, son? I mean,
Let me inside. I heard no doubt, but uh, the, I just had a sweet feeling. Like, okay, son. I don't, honestly, but then it was like, uh, though it's just purple of weird feelings that probably just, I just imagine things. I don't think it's not, it's something's off real too, I can feel too. As I would think, but I don't want to worry my son. Because anything, as Dan calls Adewale, I still say as something will happen now. I need to get all the safety in, if, in case absolutely anything happens. Like, uh, yes, Captain. It's not a storm the ships now. And then well, of, while they were on the ship, storming it, the, some man of war would actually come. Us like crap! I knew it was a weird feeling. It will be t five different men of war now. It will all be Templar ships. Us like all Templars, he said. So like, crap, Dad, where? Us then to kill the crew. Everyone didn't know what to do now. He looks at Adewale. Edward tells us to come here. Now, Oswald, what? Why? Tells then Edward said, you just do it, son. Oswald see the look in his Edward's face, but that, 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 no. He thought, no, dad. No. As other way, as other, as they refused to leave. They now asked Adam Hollis, also refused, literally refused to leave uh, Kenway, or Edward is dead, he said, no, I'm not leaving dad. Then he still looks at him and said, Osta, do it. So Edward now, actually, Edward now grabs Osta and throws him to Adam Hollis on the boat, on the yacht dog. As so Edward stays on the ship, Osta like, no, dad, no. I see the Templars now arrive. He looks at the sunset. Like, Please, son. I need to do this. It's my sense of duty. I have to protect everyone. They can never find that. Also, look at him like uh, you. Ed as Edwin knew what. Also knew what he talked about. As Adwell was the only uh, only other one who knew about the journal, really. That Asta had it now, and not uh, Edward. Okay, so, but yeah, it's now to just fly. Asta would sail away now with the Yakdaw. As Adewal is at the wheel. As they sit down, as now he's watched the, with the scope, as he sees the Templars now. Shoot the mer- as uh, Templars now shoots the merchant ship. Oh, can we jump into one of the Templar ships now? Merchant to as now the other crews of the other Templar ship just jump onto that tem uh, man of war. As they all go for Edward. As he sees a script, as he would skip. No! Said, but the Yakla yeah, was too out of like, sight for the Templars now. Really. I still will go to the hideout now. Also, be saddened by this. Like, he has started to drink now. Even though he was eligible to drink, he has started to drink what out there. But at the walls or animals allowance, but then they started to allow it since Asta already started drinking. As they saw like the sad look on Asta, they all be silent about Kenway's them highs and everything. It's now actually Kenway will be asked Edward will be actually survived, he'll be ki like imprisoned. So they could 
try to get where he put the where I hid the journal away. The fuck, maybe some of his crew that escaped has it. The fuck, then it has, then the, then the sons actually people to track down the jackdaw. But I wouldn't be able to find it anywhere. At all. So we actually, they were us asked uh, after three months. Asked and the other one will finally go for one ride with the actor. They would sail back to England. Where. Well, and the will present Austin to the English Brotherhood since Austin was a part of the colonial brotherhood there. But he represented to the English Brotherhood. I should sail there. The Templars are now see the Yakta is somewhere around the Caribbean leaving for England. Sing sails as they would notify the English like the English troops of the If you know the English bands about that, the English Templars, what that they were coming, sing for England, as they were ready with ma some man of wars to best the, like the, actually they won't be ready with man of wars. They burned out the troops to assassinate them, the crew, or ki and kidnap them. As Ken was taken to England too, S so he could see the demise of his. So he could see the end of the, his. The, so he could see, would see the be forced to watch the end of his crew. So now the Yak was there. They would meet. They would plan to meet up with the assassin, assassin hood. I said they weren't talking like a normal English harbor, they would talk in a hidden harbor. Because the, te the Templars didn't know about the secret harbor, they thought it would land in a normal harbor. But to their disappointment, they wouldn't. Now they would be like, huh, I still don't know the in the camera. The assassin would meet up with Asta. They would sell it to the big colleague and say, Pain about it, then Asta would feel so. Wait. It's now his uh, eagle vision. His eagle vision would start to activate. He'd be like, What the? What is he said? I seized all of them in like, different colors. Like, what the? I still would ask, What is it? I'd be like, I don't know, but I can't see you. Wait, th this must be the eagle vision my dad always talked about. Look how okay, the fought. After that, also look, huh? So now, also would just sit as how to go to the like. Then they would still get some intel at the Templars. Had a cap captive from the colonies. I know the Templars had a captive, and were currently searching for the Yakta. I still would get notified that they would knew that the Yakta had sailed for England. Out of all, I think, hmm, no. Also said, wait, no, wait, th this can't be fought. No. No, it can't be really fought, that's, that's impossible. I was like, what is it? Osbeck said, nothing. Osbeck walks away. In the, as there are in the assassin hood near. It will be year 70, I don't know when, but it's on the, during the 700s, 1700s in the, like, England lot. that. They must have went by now. Osbeck is now 15. No, he actually is 11, 14 and 11 months. 
to get a final push against the Templars now in England. As also with as to get news about the X XL everything now. Now, as I said, I don't know what I was saying. No, the good. I still found out that Ken was in prison there. Sorry about being quiet now. It's not who st stormed the place where Edward was cap held, held, held captive. I stood storm the hideout where the Templars were. They would f go to stood storm the house. No one was in there. Then Osmond asked with his ego vision is so he found a tunnel. You wanna see it? Now I stood walking there. Lost the activated as Austin had the ego vision activated so he could see any Templars that was there. Now they would they would find him as now he sees Edward there. As Edward saw Austin in the shit like Sites as the Templar was questioning still Edward and guarding him. Uh, as now Oswald would sneak up and just kill the dog, kill the guard, drag him away. So then he freed Edward and said, Come on, Dad, we gotta go. Then, right before they left, the Templar said, Oh, there you are, assassins. Oswald, like, crap. So the assassin was surrounded by Templars. A fight would break out now between them. Asta throws a sword to Kenway, to Edward, so he could fight too. Just start fighting now. Though at the end of the fight, the Templar leader would have a gun. Asta would see this, he would be too late, as now he saw the gunshot hit Kenway. Asta would Dad, no! He screamed. His dad, his dad falls dead down on the ground, but no. He sees a Templar now. He's getting mad. Some other Templars started to restrain him because they thought he might know where the Templars like, journal is. I don't know, see this. Then also break out of them and kill them all. He said, yo, pay. Also rushes towards the Templar now. He jumps up, he just does a water and just jumps and stabs his sword through the Templar. Uses hidden blade to stab him many times. And it shows the Templars over there, but then as they would see the brutality in Asta, the madness, the anger. As they would just other well nice had to drag Asta away, he said, No! No! As Asta gets the senses now, he holds his dead dying body. He starts, Ah, uh, Asta! Uh, never let anyone find the, your Asta. Like, uh, Dad, no! Then he said, Wait, son, I love you. I was like, Dad, I love you too. Also, I'll be sad by like his dad was completely dead now. This I was all the crew would be like there too to see Edward died. I was like, said no, no, no. Also, would leave now. So walk out sad, carrying Edward Kenway's body. As we met. With, uh, well, he would met up with the assassins now. You see, Ken was spotted to mourn his loss. Too. 
I still dig a grave for him. Where the can we mention what used to be? Where it was actually was. I spoke, wait, there was a kid like, yes. Your dad used to live here before he became a pirate. I said, go. Or before he rejoined the pirates. I said, go. Okay, he thought. See, his also own relatives, Heath and Connor, was still in the colonies, battling. Osto hadn't been there for a while now, as they were left by Osto sailing for England. But they didn't know about Osto's existence yet. But they would soon get, all, get letters that they Osto existed. That's kind of a way to have an uncle, he thought. No, it's kind of a, kind of would be just born now. It's not hateful, I'm just that, wait, I have a brother, half brother at least. He thought, I need to find him. But also would sail away from England now. Otherwise, it, as with Adewal and the crew, he said, I can't stay here. He'll probably come after me. Adewal and you, why too? He's like, yeah. There's no sailing way. There's no us sailing. There's us now. The, the best storm, they would have sailed south, far away south, they would be in their Africa's coast now. Aren't sailing there, let's get to the Indies now. Must feel like we could settle down here. As a storm road starts to happen, Osbeck said, What the? As Adavala takes the wheel from Osta because Osta can handle it still. The storm. As I try to conquer it, but Osta is then Adaval gets thrown to the uh, side of the ship and is passed out. Osta, uh, no, Os Osta is the only one that can steer wheel now. He grabs the wheel and tries to his best to do it. Adwal will wake up from like all that they passed out and see Osta holding like the wheel now. As he's, he's possible to get, get the reverse of exploding almost. He had saw this like tension in it, in his hands, in his arms. It's not awesome, but like, huh, I can't, can't afford to lose this shit, this shit. It's not some dumb appears. It's not the world, see this, Osta, uh, Osta, watch out. Osta, see this some tsunami, be like, no. It's out of the world, and I'll push towards, push Osta away. I I get that, I said, no. Osta, push him back, said, I got this. He turned the ship around, so he would face the tsunami. As Adewar, wait, he he knew about that trick too. I said, come now. Then a thunderous, thunderous area, so as there would be more tsunamis, earthquakes too. There come a tsunami from the side too now. I said, what the? I see two tsunamis come from the ship now. He said, I can't. We can't. A tsunami hits them. It's now Oswald from off the ship now with Adewal, the, like the ship would sink and the crew would, the, almost the, crew, the entire crew would die except for Austin and Adewale because they would survive as they wash up at the sore now Oswald <coughs> <coughs> he said, he, he was like that, he was really full of water in his mouth Stan he said Adewale there, he back Ade He said Ade Are you as then he shakes Adewale's bodies As it would take a while I said wait you see then Adewale would start to move I said good Good thank god you're alive he said as that said Like huh Uh where are we uh as that as I don't know I just woke up As they saw this like some piece of the actor there I still would fight and they wouldn't fight and any crew member. Osta checks on his pockets, he finds Phew, the other one still here, he said. And he checked for some reason. Like, I don't want to be good. Let's never walk away there. They would both be stranded on this weird con land, they thought. I still need to. Need, they couldn't find a crew anymore. I said, we're. It looks like Osta said, looks like we're stranded here forever. And I'm all back, yeah, I know. Astana gets taught, Astana does meet up with some villagers actually, they would see them. And see that they were armed to the teeth. Like, what the? They said, what? Wait, why did they would ask, why are you armed to the, why are you so much weapons on you? When you have magic. Astana, what, right now he said, magic? 
Yeah, say as they show that Austin and will be shocked now. Austin witches. I don't want to think that too, but witches. So now, the rumors were spread around the country, but two strangers armed to the teeth could have been there. Austin and Austin been learned about the grimoires now that will get up with the 15. As they would have learned what date it was, and it was a week before Austin turned 15 now. And the wall and Austin would have built a house. As they would like to know what the, some Grimmer Tower were. Austin think, hmm, maybe I. Maybe I can get a Grimmer or something to use this word magic thing. And the back here. As the wall was able to use magic yet, he would he will never be able to. Ross would be no Ross would get to the grammar tower. Ross is fifteen now. You see the grammar tower there. It's still armed to the teeth though, with other volleys watching in the corner. It's now a four leaf clover up here. Four leaf clover up here now. Go down towards Osta. Osta said, huh? And what magic it will be? Uh, let me think of something. This now Austin will get. Hmm. Uh, I hate to break it, but he will get fire magic. Can't imagine him with another magic. Call fire magic. As you get for the fire grammar. Obviously, look what the Austin walks out after that other wall following him. Do you see other wall too? Is walking out to fuck. Hmm. Where we're bunched. As Austin and Adewale is sitting near in the trees, as the other one will learn to climb, Austin would have taught him how to climb the trees really that fast. It's now Adewale will be like, huh? They're talking now, a little bit. Actually, as Adewale made, Adewale would have learned how to do wrong, should have done that so they would drink sometimes. Well, they got the hands on some rum to make it. So now Austin would learn about the Medic Knights. If like, no, I won't join them, in fact. It'll be too much, I need to follow orders. <laughs> I don't really like that that well. Now we go to where Haytham and Connor is. As now, Connor would have been the same age. Like, 10 years younger than Asta. She'll be 5 though. But Haytham knew about the. Had heard about the disappearance of the Yakida and Asta. After learned about the death of his father. As he would mourn his father still. As Connor didn't know about it, he, had found, he didn't find out about it yet. But uh, as now it was uh, Haytham like thought it was his job to find his little brother to get him home or find him at least, but he wouldn't have. As now the fighting would uh, actually Connor would be the same. Well, Connor would actually be this soon. Uh, Con uh, Connor would age faster all that than the others, as he would be in, like sixteen now. No, if we f turn 15, he will, he will be able to... Now he has defeated the Haytham. Now he's de defeated Haytham actually now, as the Armored Core version is finished. The AC SS Creed 3 Evans is finished now. As now he finds that letter on his father, about and the research about his, the Yakta, his grandfather, uh, Connor's grandfather, Steph, when he, as, some years ago, and that Con uh, Haytham had a younger brother. They're supposed to be the same age as Connor. Connor like what? He thought. I need to find a stand dude before they hate them died. Actually now there's a flashback now of hate them. So we walk out the coast now. I see something drifting into if he sees just see something like debris just floating into the shore. I see would it'll be the name of the Yakta. Said the actor, he's like, no. Hatham, like, no, where did it sink? Then, like, no, he can't be dead. 
as Connor had the gun now, as he said, told everyone else, uh, told Evelyn de Guanpi that she will be go looking for something. Maybe the last of his family is still alive. I don't know how long I'll be gone, but I'll be gone. Please take care of everyone. In the case I never returns, you're the grand, you're, you know, Evelyn Black. Yeah, sure, but make sure. But yeah, I'll find him and take him back home. He said. Now go to Austin's. He'll be mercenaries in behind to do some jobs here. But he is not at all helping with that mercenary missions. But then the whisker know about these two strangers that just lived on their own in the woods. Where like anyone really know where they lived. Only knew that they got hired on with some pigeons. <laughs> but whisker tried to track them down, but since Austin's fire medic had an odd mon or something ability, so whisker couldn't really sense where they Word. He could only sense the mana sometimes when he used it, but the, he couldn't use it to track it down to sus where the mana was. I say we try to take them down, but then he decided to leave a fake mercenary mission. As when Austin's about to grab, uh, like grabs the request, he sees it. He gives it to like yeah, uh, he gives it not to uh, uh, the valley. And both look at it and lodge it, turns it's a fake one. As they burns the request up. With Austin's fire medic, they walk away. But before they could leave, the whisker will appear now, in front of them. In front of Austin, actually. Austin will draw his sword. And was red, and as the whisker will see the sword as around him, but you move a little bit and you're dead. It's like, hold on. I said, Adabal was ready, and now. Some medic knights were actually appeared there too. Actually, some were just after whisking as to surround them. Most of like, huh? So, what do you want? Said, where? What? Are, what is this? Why do you want to kill us? He said, I don't want to kill you, Austin. Then, why all these troops? Said, I, I wanted you, I just wanted to need you to listen to me. I said, well, okay, fine. He said, and as I don't like, Austin, stand down, other valley. He said, stand down, are they? I don't always stand up, put his machete down. Also, still has the, has his sword seated now. As we said, said, well, I heard about you. As I would recommend that you join the medic knights. Also, looked at him like I don't, I don't do well with orders. He said. Besides, I'm leaving how I want to live. Whiskey like, oh, fine. Whiskey like, okay. The offer still stands. The entry exam is in a few months. And that's why I'm leaving this one off. Because I need to figure out the next part and all that. So yeah, that's but that's all for me now. If you do enjoy this video, please just consider subscribing. It's free and you can always say smile. And if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to hit that bell to be notified wherever I upload a new water video. Now, and smash that like button and comment down below what you think of this. What if now? That's all for me. Now, see you on the next one.